Hey, good morning, uh, boys and girls. It's uh, Thursday, September 7th. Yeah, it's, um, oh, it's in the low 70s today and kind of overcast. Might get lucky and have a pop-up shower, but I don't think so. But it's been, um, the last week was pretty much upper 80s, low 90s, high humidity, kind of sticky. Um, so this is this is kind of a treat. So we're gonna take a little advantage of it and Get into my little Composting operation. I, I don't have a big setup. I don't do big mounds um, I have a two bin setup and my setup is I have a uh, square open bottom bin and I collect the uh, kitchen scraps and clean yard debris in there and I top that I put that into my tumbler and my tumbler set up right next to the the one bin and I've been doing that for 10 plus years and when I first got the tumbler I always had trouble I never could get the mix right and get a glorious uh, batch out of that and one time when I was dumping the uh, picking through the square bin there was a lot of uh, worms in it so and it was unfinished, so I filled the tumbler with the kitchen scraps and stuff out of the square one with a lot of worms. And boy, that worked great. And in the next, uh, oh, six, eight weeks, I had a great batch in the tumbler, and I fear, figured the worms did all the work, you know? So it's, uh, it's essentially a worm bin, and that's how I've been treating it now for uh, a decade or so so I make sure you know I get worms in there out of here and it's it's a nice load I just um, picked out what was in the square one and if you've seen my stuff you know it's a bit it's a bit chunky but you know that's that's beautiful compost beautiful compost and while yeah sure it's not a lot but it's definitely enough to uh, side dress my plants uh, amend the holes when i'm putting starts in and i process all my kitchen scraps that way and my clean uh, yard debris so it's a nice little system and it works out well for me now this this load here has been in the tumbler all summer you know because of my injury i just wasn't able to get out and and do it but normally you know, I start a load pretty early, like February or so. Just when, when this thing thaws out enough that I can fill this, I start that load. And usually that load is ready for when I'm planting my um, tomatoes and my seedlings. Um, but, you know, I, I just didn't get to it. So this, these five-gallon buckets are full of what's been in there since, since February. And normally, using that system... I can get three or four batches a summer and, and it works it works out fine so but I got a I got a bunch of stuff in here and what I got in here again like a lot that's gone on this year I had a lot of cucumbers and you know there's some tomatoes and things that have just gotten away from me because I just haven't been able to keep up with it I, I wasn't up to making any pickles this year so you know I had a lot of giant cucumbers and Oh, a month ago, this thing was almost full from cucumbers, giant cucumbers that had got away from me. And the, uh, the soldier fly larvae are magical. Let's see if I can find any of them. If you're not familiar with black soldier fly larvae, don't be afraid of them when you're doing your composting. It's this guy. Can we see that? Can we see these? It's these guys right here. And them along with the worms and the other organisms that are in a compost pile, they're magic. And they'll break down everything and what they leave behind is their byproduct their waste and that makes great compost so uh, sometimes kind of freak you out a little bit that 
so that bin will be so full of uh, soldier fly larvae that when I open up this top I can actually see the pile moving so it's not quite like that right now but it has a lot of it in there so I'm gonna get you know this is quite broke down you can obviously see I got big chunks of stuff I'm gonna get this in the tumbler and get it processing and I'll be able to use that um, in my bed at uh, end of October, early November, when I get ready to process, uh, plant my garlic. And I'll use whatever's in the tumbler. I'll continue to collect what's in the square one. And since that'll be October, November, just heading into winter, I'll take everything out of the square one, bury it in the bed where the garlic is gonna go, and then also add, add the finished compost out of the tumbler. So let me get this uh, transferred to there and uh, we'll talk a little bit after. Easy enough. That's why I like having these two units right next to each other and uh, having them right next to the the beds makes uh, the whole composting game pretty easy. Now I want to show you show you this. Now this in February this was completely empty and over the year over the summer it's been all the way full with uh, the kitchen scraps and the yard debris and so what you see in here this isn't dirt I don't put dirt in here this is what the worms and the soldier fly larvae this is what they leave behind and you know I'm, I'm pretty pretty pleased with that it's quite magical in my opinion you know I have this this unit pretty well stuffed I'm gonna put some more in there because I, I want it full because I'll continue to add I, I add stuff in here almost daily certainly every every few days this is almost full I'll get it stuffed in by October you know end of October that'll be that'll be broke down it's still gonna be my uh, signature chunky compost but I've been doing this for 20 plus well over a decade in this uh, manner but burying kitchen scraps and, and burying stuff directly in my beds composting in place for 20 years and if you go back and see some of my old stuff when I rebuilt these beds added the new size and you seen the um, uh, was able to take pictures of the soil that I've been working on for uh, 20 years give or take uh, it, it works out great so you don't need a big giant bins or uh, piles to do compost you can do it in a in a small and tidy uh, manner and um, treat your plants great so so that's it for today just a, a quick little adventure in my version of composting as usual you know i'm very grateful that you're here and that you're watching and you keep coming back and checking it out if you're new and this is your first trip uh, please consider subscribing and liking and sharing and uh, i hope to see you next week bye bye